everybody's going to be at Olympic trials. All of the USA Swimming National Team, you know, alumni is going to be. Matt Biani, Tom Jager, Summer Sanders, Mark Spitz, Rowdy Gaines, Donna Di Verona. It's going to be gold medals and 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 gold medals. Seven days ago, I caught up with David Marks, one of the best swimming coaches in the world. Also, Pablo Morales, one of the most beloved athletes of our time, the last 20 years at least. And we were just catching up about the dry run. It was all a dress rehearsal for the Olympic trials at the end of this month. We were there at the Quest Center. It's a pretty beautiful place. You've got to check it out. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. It's swank. I swam with you years back, and there's something that always stuck with me, something that you said. You said, our sport's never going to grow. It's never going to be what it can be. It's never even going to come close to you know, competing against professional sports that we know, unless yeah. we reach the urban cities, you know, the minority communities. And um, I don't know, what do you think about the foundation's role in that? Well, it, it's, it's critical, and I tell you, the, 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 our sport needs uh, to be all-inclusive, and it also needs to, to have the best athletes, and, and the best athletes come from all kinds of backgrounds. Right now, I've been blessed with coaching Cullen Jones lately, and Cullen is a phenomenal athlete. Now, the fact that he swims well too is fantastic, but, but the fact that if we can reach out to more and more of the diverse community and pull in more African Americans, pull, more, pull more, more Hispanics in, I think we become more representative of what America is. And we need, we're America's sport in, in so many ways at the Olympic performance level, but also at the, uh, at the grassroots level. We are very fortunate to have him come to, uh, from New York out to Colorado Springs and lead the foundation. And uh, I'll tell you what he's going to do. What he's going to do is introduce uh, our sport uh, to a lot of people who otherwise would um, probably just stay tucked away in their, in their executive buildings. And uh, we need to reach those people. We need to tell them our story as well. talking to you yes just hanging out doing a little deck control doing a little coaching just loving it getting ready for the team USA national team reunion what? shout out to all my uh, alumni brethren sisters hey the pool's ready we're ready for you I you know can't wait to host you all coming out we're looking forward to having a great visit and a great alumni reunion you're having a party what day is that 
It happens to be on July 5th, the day after uh, Independence Day. Festivities, celebrations continue into July 5th for a great alumni party. Yeah, what does this party entail? I understand it's paddling the pool with Pablo. Yeah, there's a little of that. Uh, it'll be literally some paddling for me. Some other alums might be in a lot better shape than myself. Maybe your sub, you can do a stroke demonstration. So see how great Only you, for uh, you. you've been keeping things going. But you know, there'll be a, a nice, a nice dinner, nice reception, good time to sit around and catch up on some old stories and uh, live, uh, live the glory days.